I was asked three questions recently by someone. How I got into reflection? When did I start practicing it? And finally, what was my approach? Well, my background is in science research. And I spent several years carrying out various experiments. So that almost uh, developed a very analytical, detail and data-driven mindset. However, considering this experience, I realized I was actually reflecting a lot at the time without maybe knowing it on a regular basis. In fact, we probably all are. So for example, in the laboratory, I would carry out an experiment and collect the particular data and analyze that data and then reflect on it. And this reflection would then lead to the creation of new, say, experimental approaches or criteria. And then the cycle would start all over again. So this relates to Kolb's reflective model quite nicely. But in 2011, I commenced an MA in teaching and learning, and I was asked very early on by the course director, how did I feel upon reflection? So this was a very foreign concept to me. Uh, my, where was my data, my controls, my triplicates, my comfort zone? But this opened up a very qualitative approach in me, an open approach. And from that course, I learned my brain was hardwired a bit from all the years of science. And now I had the potential to learn a new way of thinking and a new way of working. So my reflective model now more resembles Gibbs's model. And the reason I say that is it's much more focused about you and reflecting on your experiences and how you feel in order to guide next steps. So I really enjoy the cyclical effect of both models in that when one finishes, a new one starts. And the more you put into your reflection, the better the next cycle effectively is. So how I sustain this reflective practice is through learning, uh, through using learning portfolios or professional development portfolios. And it allows me a space to document and consider events and experiences and gather my thoughts maybe as around planning the next steps. So remember in the wise words of a Danish philosopher, Soren Kierkegaard, life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. Mm -hmm.